Hi, this is Kathy Cooks and welcome to my show. We are gonna be shopping the pantry and going to be making delicious food here. The more things I have in my pantry, the more creative I get to be and the better my meals will be. Now, when I say pantry, I don't just mean my dry goods pantry. I mean my refrigerator and my freezer too. They are all pantry to me. So let's get cooking. Hey guys, before we begin, I need you to subscribe below. That would help me so much in supporting what I do here. Also, I'd love to get you to give me a thumbs up. Please talk to me. Oh, there's Bonesy again. Please talk to me. I wanna hear from you. Let me know what you have in your pantry and I will come up with some amazing meals. So what are we having today? Well, a Mexican pasta soup. I believe they call it sopa fideo. It's like pasta soup. It is fantastic and such a great thing to do, whether it's summertime and you have so many tomatoes and don't know what to do with, or like for me, you go to your produce stand and when they have those tomatoes, I think they were a dollar for two pounds. I bought six pounds of tomatoes and I brought them home cleaned them up, and then I want to show you how quick and easy and fresh this meal is. What you're going to do is you're going to do this in batches. So we are doing it in a batch for that will serve like two to four people. So you take four cups of your rough cut tomatoes, and you can push them down in there to make sure it's four cups. You're going to put that into your blender, and then you're going to put in it a rough cut half onion, and one to three garlic cloves. I would start with one. And if you like a lot of garlic, then the next time you're like, yeah, I think I'll try two and go from there. Put that in your blender and you just blend that up. That is your base. At this point, what you're gonna wanna do is put these into Ziploc freezer containers. So I write on the freezer container, you know, like Fideo, I know what that means, even though that just means pasta, but I know it means the soup. Fideo, four cups tomatoes, but you don't get a lot of leftovers and you might not get seconds. So just, just want you to know that. So then you just put it in the freezer and you wait and wait. There's also a pasta that I like to use with this, the traditional Mexican pasta. If you can't find this, just um, break up some vermicelli. That's what's used a lot of times. But in Aldi, I get the, this pasta. It's 48 cents for a little container of, you know, a little plastic bag of the pasta. And that's what's used in it. And it's just, you know, all the vermicelli is the same size. Let's move on. So we have this bag of pasta. We put that into our pan. Make sure it's a heavy bottom pan. Put that into our pan with a tablespoon of oil and get your pan up to medium. And then you just stir those until they are a nice brown color. This could take quite a few minutes. I'd say three to five minutes to get these um, to a nice golden color. Now you don't wanna cook it on high because they'll, they'll turn way too quick and then you're gonna burn them. This brings out the nutty flavor in the pasta. Once you get it to the specified color, then you are gonna pour in your tomatoes. Do not put your broth in, just your tomato mixture. And you are gonna stir this and cook this, and you stir and it's really liquidy and, and it's raw tomato. And as it cooks, and it could take, I don't know, um, I mean, it takes probably a good eight minutes as it cooks, that pasta is then soaking up all that deliciousness. It's not soaking up any of the chicken stock. It's getting flavored by the garlic, the onion, and the tomato. Once your sauce goes from a thin to a thick sauce, that's when you add your chicken stock. Let that cook for probably 15 to 20 minutes a little longer if you want, it's okay, and you're done. That's it. But having lime wedges, a Mexican cheese goes well. I usually use a Mexican crumble cheese, and I what I'll do is I'll buy a pack or I'll buy a container of the Mexican crumble cheese. You know that's a lot for me to use in one sitting, so I'll cut it into quarters, put it in a bag, and then I'll just take out one quarter. The rest goes in the freezer, 
and then I have these ingredients on hand. This is how you stock your pantry. When it comes to the lime, I always have fresh limes on hand, but if you don't, buy the plastic little lime you put in your fridge and use that. Does it taste the same as the fresh lime? No, it's been pasteurized, but it'll do. It, you know, why not? This is how you stock things and that eventually you can just throw things together. Now I had a part of a rotisserie chicken. I live right by Costco. Every time I go in there, I get a rotisserie chicken. So I had rotisserie chicken. I had the cheese in my pantry. I always have cilantro in my drawer as well as parsley and green onions right there. There's all your toppings. And I happen to have an avocado. So even if you just have one of these things, um, or like cilantro lime, to me, those are a must. Must, must, must. And then anything else you wanna throw in there, throw in there, I don't care. It's absolutely spectacular, fresh. My family loves this meal. You will too. And it can be something to make when you don't feel like cooking. All the hard work's done and you have a Ziploc in the freezer, you pull that out and you're good. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks. I hope you continue to watch and you learn how to stock your pantry the way you like it so you can create and throw together amazing meals and have confidence in the kitchen. Oh, and please subscribe below, give me a thumbs up and turn on that bell. You'll get notified when my videos post.